So it was about four in the morning. Ordinarily, I'd be completely dead at this hour, but not today. I'm loading up the boat in the middle of the night so that we can go from one tiny speck of land in the middle of the Pacific to an even tinier speck of land in the middle of the Pacific. Why would we do this? Well, I think it's fairly obvious. Our nemesis, spider snail. Vermetids are these snails that live in coral reefs and to eat they cast out these webs of mucus and they capture all the junk in the water and then they suck it all in and they eat it. It's delicious. The problem is these mucus nets can actually cause harm to corals. It'd sort of be like if you sneezed on a beautiful woman and then she turned to stone and died. Also, we humans tend to put a lot of delicious junk in the ocean. So we wanted to study these vermetids to see if you get more vermetids when you have more people. And so we went to three different islands, uh, one with a lot of people, one with a little bit, and one with a very, very little bit. And that's where this first trip came in. We went to this island called Mayau. Very few people have visited this place. We roll out, four bros deep. We're really excited. But then we get probably about 10 minutes away from a three hour drive. And we realize that we don't have enough gas to get back to the island we came from. We hatch this plan. Our friend from our home island is going to drive out into the middle of the ocean and meet up with us when we run out of gas on the way back. Seems like a reasonable plan. Then when we finally arrive at the island, we get another surprise. The mayor of the island and his whole family, they show up to greet these new visitors and they bring us an entire breakfast ensemble. So sweet. But we had just eaten. Diving on a really full stomach not necessarily the best move, but we're not gonna be rude. We chow down. Food was good, with one one exception. A fermented snail, ironically enough, that was hard to put down. Anyway, we finish eating. We thank our lovely hosts. So we gear up, uh, and we get our quadrats, which kind of look like picture frames. We toss these things down to count up how many snails there are, and we're gonna do dives all around the island. Time to get down to business. We start our first dive, get down to about 60 feet. Hadn't it been more than an hour. The snails that we had eaten, they're fighting back. You ever feel like your stomach is melting? To cleanse the pain, each of the bros has to go on a solo mission of self-discovery. It was life-changing. This is the one part of the trip when we were really happy that none of our female coworkers came with us. Fortunately, fish don't judge. Anyway, we get all the data we need, we dive all around this amazing island. You couldn't ask for a more amazing backdrop than a Polynesian island that's pretty much uncultivated. So we're, we're excited. You know, we rallied, we got through it, we got what we needed, but then there was the gas. We didn't have much of a choice. We figured we just got to stick with our, our plan to meet our friend in the middle of the ocean. But then right at the last minute, the lovely people of Mayao, they waved us down. They said, we have, we have fuel for you guys. We got really lucky. These people completely saved us from ourselves. Something we could have really used on the next part of the trip. 